Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be starting a series because I was too impatient to wait. <laughs> I'm going to be starting my modern Disney villain series, so I'm going to be doing Cruella, Cruella today. <laughs> if I could say her name right. <clears throat> I do have a bit of a cough, so I don't know how much I'm going to be talking through this video. I might end up putting it into voiceover if I have a hard time. But yeah, um, if you like to see what I do, just keep on watching. So I did tone my hair to kind of make it a little more pale for this. <laughs> um, I'm going in with the Pretty Vulgar the Ink Black List Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to use this to fill in my brows. I am chewing gum again, although this is not nicotine gum. This is just regular gum because I have been nicotine free for one day so far. <laughs> Sorry if this like furry thing is keeps hitting my mic. And I'm so sorry if it's like disturbing the audio, so I'm going to try to make sure it's not hitting it when I am talking. <laughs> but I'm just going to use an angled brush to fill in my brows. Okay, now that the brows are done, I am going to be doing it slightly more glam since this is a modern day Disney villain. Most of these looks are actually going to be pretty wearable for like, you know, like um, not like a ton of face paint and stuff like that for this series. But um, except for two, which is going to be Ursula and Hades, which I'm going to be doing later in the series because they do have different color skin than regular skin tone. So that's going to be the only like really extreme part of this series makeup wise. So next, I'm going to start on the eyes. Now, when people think of Cruella, they think of green eyeshadow. So that is what I'm going to do, although I think I might actually do a halo eye. I know I just did one for my fall grunge look, but I really think I want to kind of like, I don't know, spice it up a little. So I'm going in with Coastal Scents Olive to start out with, and I'm going to use a blending brush, and I'm going to run that into the crease of my eye. I am also going to run this on my lower lash line as well. Okay, next I'm going to dive into the shade Fresh Chive from Coastal Scents. Using the same brush and I'm going to focus this heavily on the inner and outer corners. Oh, pardon me. And then I'm also going to sweep just a little bit of this into the crease. I'm also going to do the same thing on the lower lash line. I'm just taking a smaller smudgy brush. Okay, now I'm going to use some concealer to cut out the center of my lid. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer in the shade 5 Ivory. I bought this thinking it would uh, be nice for my, it looked like it would be like, you know, nice for my eyes, but it is actually too light <laughs> for my eyes. And because I have fairly hooded eyes, I can't do that trick where you uh, look like put it on your lid and then look up because it just folds into the crease. So I have to keep my eyes open to find out where I want 
it to show and then drag it down from there so you could see like it doesn't look like a lot of space but when I lift my eyebrows it's like whoa look at all that space Now I am just going to take this blending br brush with no additional product and kind of like I did set the um, concealer with a face toned like my skin tone powder and I'm just going to use this brush to kind of blend out the edges a little better. Okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take hmm, I think I'm going to take this shade. What are you? <sighs> I'm going to take the shade Paris Green from Coastal Sense, which is a nice shimmer. <clears throat> and then I am going to wet a brush and dip it in, and then I'm going to place it on the center of my lids with a brush, so it's really nice and defined where I put the concealer. Now I'm just going to take a smaller brush and really deepen up um, the inner and outer corners and then also define with a liner brush right above the um, shimmer where it meets the mattes. So I'm really digging how this is looking right now. Um, green eyeshadow is one of my favorite uh, like eyeshadow to work with. So I'm just going to quickly line the top uh, portion of my lashes with some black liner. This is the liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild in their black shade.
Okay, and that's drying right now, but I'm going to uh, apply the um, Tarte Big Eye, Big, Big Ego <laughs> mascara on my top and lower lashes. I might do falsies. I don't know. I have to decide still. I just bumped myself with some mascara. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm still deciding if I want to do false eyelashes. I'm going to go into the Makeup Revolution All About the Bronzed Bronzer Palette. <clears throat> and I'm going to mix these two shades right here and use that to warm up my cheeks. Now I think I'm going to forego blush, but I am going to do contour. I'm going to go into the BH Studio Pro Contour Palette, and I'm first taking this shade, and I am going to just contour my cheeks and my jaw normally right now, and then also do a little bit of my nose. But then I'm going to be going in with a darker shade to really go in on the cheeks, because if you look at, I'm uh, basing this look off of more so uh, the animated Cruella Deville instead of like the live action 101 Dalmatians movie that was made. I think that had like what, like Meryl Streep in it? I, no, yes, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't, it was that other woman. Oh my God, what's her name? Okay, so I cannot remember what her name is, but um, that one lady, oh my goodness. Yeah, it was like way old movie. I don't know if you probably know what I'm talking about, probably not, but um, yeah, I'm going to go in with that shade first. Now I'm going to take just a touch of this shade and use that same brush I used to contour my nose and really, really go in like super um, precise along the cheekbones. Okay, for highlight, I'm going into the shade Laser from the BH Cosmetics Blacklight Highlight Palette. And I'm just going to use that to highlight areas of my face using the Wet n Wild Unicorn Highlighting Brush. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, tip of my nose, and the bridge of my nose. I'm also going to use this to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. I think I might actually tap some of this on the very center of my lid as well.
Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to forego lashes, so I'm going to just throw on my lipstick now, which is right here. <laughs> I'm going in with the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Trust Me, which is a red shade. Then I think I might just add a little gloss in the center. This is the LA Colors uh, High Shine Shea Butter Gloss in the shade Dynamite. Okay, so this is the, oopsie. <laughs> this is the final look actually really like it you can make it more wearable by doing less of a harsh contour you don't even have to pair a red lip with this you could do like a nude lip with this if you just wanted to go for a green look and uh yeah um so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already or if you want to my next look will be a um more fall vibes or you know just like a more wearable look and not quite like a character character look or anything like that so yeah i guess i'll see you in my next one bye